peekaboo, peeka peeka peekaboo. It's another Halloween story. We love these so much, don't we? You and me, we're friends. We both love Halloween. So this one, the title says, if animals trick or treated, have you ever wondered if they do? Well, this might give you an idea of the kind of things they might want to do. This book was written by Anne Whitford Paul, illustrated by David Walker, and this book was published by Farah Strauss Giroux. Here we go, friends. If animals trick or treated, Mama and Owlet at the pumpkin stall would choose a pumpkin like Owlet, small. They'd carve two round eyes and two pointy ears. Bat Pup would carve hers with fangs like spears. Hatchling would beg Papa Crocodile to carve his pumpkin with a sneery smile. If animals trick-or-treated, then Mama and Owlet would decorate trees with cobwebs, swish swaying in the breeze. Anteater and Pup would shove with their snouts to loop-de-loop -loop orange and black streamers about. Vulture chicks would scat-scatter fresh skeleton bones close to a cluster of old tombstones. If animals trick-or-treated, Owlet would fly in his super bird cape. Piglet would waddle in mummy tape. Zebra foal would prance, prance in a costume of spots. A little leopard would run wearing stripes, lots and lots. Panther would don a tall witchy hat and hold paws with her spooky black cub cat. If animals trick or treated, Owlet and friends would knock, knock, knock at nest, outside dens, and under a rock, promising a trick if they didn't get treats. Parrot would give out her yummy seed sweets. Armadillo would offer chocolate ants. Elephant candied leaf plants. Bears surprise, honey gummy bears. Raccoon, his famous garbage fudge squares. Then stuffed to his beak with no room for more, Owlet would flap, flap his wings and soar. To Mama. Under the moon's spooky light, they'd read scary stories and shiver with fright. But sitting close, feather to feather, they'd feel brave, cozy together. Oh, it gives us some ideas. If animals trick or treated, I miss you, friends. Mm-hmm.